Hello, good people of the internet and naughty people of the internet. Welcome to Jurassic World Evolution and the final episode of our Moscow Jurassic World franchise build situation. Uh, so far, we've done something like this, and we've done something like this, and we've uh, done something like uh, uh, this, and today we will be finishing uh, this uh, back over uh, this. There you go. Okay, so last episode, I asked you guys for suggestions for this exhibit in particular surrounded by hotels as you can see with the uh, orbs inside your skull um, and a really great suggestion which was uh, given multiple times is to not do dinosaurs that are obnoxiously loud but instead do like sing-songy dinosaurs you know soothy almost lullaby call kind of dinosaurs and I thought that was a really great idea so what we're gonna do is Brachiosaurus I think they have the quintessential beautiful call which really fills up the park i imagine it's well i imagine it's quite soothing to hear from a distance maybe not so much if he's standing directly outside your hotel window that, that probably doesn't fly too well oh as you can see i have the uh, the instant incubation thing activated uh let's see what else so we're gonna do brachiosaurus and parasaurolophus i really really like those calls uh, we're just gonna do like a mix of skins. I can't do too many. It's not that big of an exhibit. Let's do four. And we'll just do another random skin. There you go. Oh, this 2001. Do I want a chunky one? Let's do this chunky one. There. Thick brackies. And the other one were Parasaurolophus. But first I have to get these Myasaura out. Hello. All right, moving along. Speedy, speedy, speedy. We have a lot to do. And, uh, well, I don't want to have this episode run on forever. So we're gonna get the Maya out, shoot them. This is how I express my affection to uh, new things into our world. Uh, there you go. Boop, boop, shoot them all. Uh, let's get the Brackies out as well. Oh, we could have actually watched that. I mean, that's pretty majestic. There, we'll still watch it. Hey, pretty! Oh, gentle giant. Hello. Duke walks into the pillar. Alright, and he can shoot that one as well. There, and we'll get started on Parasaurolophus, and what- they're gonna go in here, by the way, the Myasaura. We have to also still add the tour over there. What I'm gonna do over here is I think I'm just gonna do like a really wide path, almost like another uh, public square, I guess. Uh, and maybe... no, I don't think we have enough room to flank it on both sides with exhibits, but maybe an exhibit still on this side. That's something I'm gonna have to figure out. Let me uh, connect this. Uh, hotel over here. I, wait, are none of them connected? None of them are connected. Okay, okay for Parasaurolophus, what was suggested was, I think, the Savannah skin. Because uh, it's pretty light. It has, like, this uh, icy blue stripe, which I thought was pretty neat. So we're gonna do... Let's do five. God, I love how fast that is. I love it. Speedy. Let's listen to that beautiful call. Actually sounds kind of sad, doesn't it? Anyway, that'll be our guest's wake-up call in the morning. It's like a lollipop! I'm just gonna have to... I'm gonna play around with uh, what I want to do with this. I'm not quite sure what I want to do with this, but I will figure it out. And I shall bring you back once I have figured it out. All 
Alrighty, all of our dinosaurs are being flown in. I've made something. It's sort of inspired by the uh, the tree motif that I saw on the Ministry of Agriculture when I was looking up references for my Russia Park. It also kind of just reminds me of the White Tree of Gondor, <laughs> which is coming out of nowhere, but okay. I, maybe you can imagine it's like um, cracks in the ice, something like that. Just, I don't know. I was out of inspiration, okay? This was the best I could do. I did my best. I did my best. So I'm gonna like flank it on both sides with some uh, different color paths and then we're gonna call it a day. Okay, so this turned out a lot uh, bigger than I imagined. Uh, that's what she said. Let's just add some guest facilities on one side of it. I think we can just do pretty much everything really, but I always like doing that one in the corner somewhere. So we have uh, the, the skull on display. We'll just start with the three most important ones. Uh, close shop, arcade, restaurant. Sure. Oh, a bar. We definitely... I mean, this is Russia. We need a bar. They serve vodka only. There you go. I think that's pretty okay. We're gonna do... The tour's gonna come off from uh, over here. Maybe we should do something else in terms of guest facility over here. Maybe another restaurant? Cannot flatten. Hmm. Or maybe we're just not gonna do anything over here. Okay. Uh, so, enclosures. Uh, I guess we're only gonna really be using this one in water. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna be using this one. Not really because it matches the style all that well. But the other vehicle is open. Open sides. Open roof, I think, even. That's not very comfortable considering there's snow everywhere. Oh, my mouse wasn't responding for a hot second. Uh, so... This, yeah, he's probably gonna say, cannot flatten. Yep, so we're gonna have to uh, bring down the mountain again. Okay, so. Oh! It's melting! My mountain is melting! Look at this! This is pretty nice. That's a nice view. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. What are you, where are you going? There's a <laughs> yeah. There's a there's a gap in the fence. Oh, that's good. That's good. Come on down. I feel like probably the better strategy is actually to do um, the track first and the fence later. Probably. Because this is pretty much nightmare fuel. Ugh. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, there you go. Uh, now I'm gonna answer uh, a question that has been asked on a daily basis. No, you can't combine the Better Fences mod with the Invisible Fence mod if you don't have uh, Return to Jurassic Park. You need to combine it with the Mixed Eras mod as well. Um, you, you can't just simply overwrite one of the Mr. Trodon fences with an invisible fence. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. So many people have asked me that question and it just doesn't work, man. I don't think I'm gonna do an exhibit over here. I mean, technically I guess I could. But I'm lazy, so <laughs> I'm not going to. It's kind of a shame someone should make a mod where this track is invisible. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be kind of cool. So I'm gonna get rid of this. And then I have to figure out what to do with this awkward section over here. We're gonna be deleting that. And then I think this should be just a big exhibit. Probably like a big carnivore or something. So I'm gonna smooth this. So just this is just gonna be a big wild exhibit. Let's do real fencing. Let's do like a heavy duty fencing so people know that there's something serious in here. Uh, and since uh, Rainforest Giganotosaurus was requested a lot, I think that's a pretty decent choice. Also, what I just realized, hold on a second. 
the pattern on that skin kind of reminds me of this, actually. It is kind of like that thunderbolt cracking ice tree of Gondor <laughs> situation. A lot of people did request this Giganotosaurus for the exhibit that I actually ended up putting the Albertosaurus and Herrerasaurus in. It's very simple, but I don't dislike it. Okay, and what I think I'm gonna do over here is... I think this needs guest facilities more than anything. Yeah, so I think maybe like a... Hold on. Let's see how big things are. I don't want to do like the thatched roof stuff. Yeah, it is bigger than I anticipated. Bigger than I'd hoped. Oh! 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 Maybe? Maybe? I think yes. I think we always say yes to an aviary. There you go. And obviously it should be uh, the alpine skins. Hold on, where do I... Oh, over here? Bleh. I'm just gonna do all alpine. And our vodka serving station. Drink responsibly, please. Whoa! Look at that! It's getting busy in our red square. All right. Okay, is my giga down? He's down. Let's fly over. And we can actually just get rid of this because we don't need it anymore. Because we are done. Look at all these workers! <laughs> Alright, all that is left to do for the Moscow Jurassic World Franchise Park is to do a tour of it. If you don't want to miss out on the full park tour, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and you'll get notified as soon as that tour video is up. Speaking of tours, there's something not going quite right over there. The Minchasaurus is causing a bit of a blockade. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave a like on the way out if you did enjoy this, and stay tuned for a continuation of the Jurassic World franchise as we are going to Australia next, and I hope to see you for that park building series as well. Again, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, enjoy the game.